Hello friends, welcome to Paris Gare du Nord. Just kidding, Gare de Lyon. This is a big terminal train station where a lot of the regional and I guess international because they would be to other countries leave. It is 9.30 so I have an hour until my train which is about five hours the train from Paris down to Nice, France. It's really easy to get here from Jean to leave. It's two trains but very simple. You just really have to read the maps because even though it's the red line there's like three different red lines. But once you understand the stops, it's quite simple. It's just nice and open and fresh in here, even though it's very busy for a Sunday morning. Hi, I'm Anna. In March of 2022, I decided to leave Vancouver after almost 10 years of calling the West Coast home in search of a more fulfilling life. Join me as I start my journey traveling through Europe as a digital nomad, discovering new places, living out my foodie dreams, while doing it all on my own. Well, not totally on my own. I have this camera and you watching. So grab a cup of coffee, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's catch up on last week's vlog. Last week's vlog was emotionally all over the place. I was back to solo travel after being with family. I got hit on at my hostel and not in a good way. Simple tasks were causing me frustrations. However, small signs were keeping me motivated to not give up. I knew it was time for a change in location and something a little nicer if you catch my drift. you're boarding these trains, you just need to make sure you pay attention to what coach or car, if you could call it, you're on. That's number seven. We're currently on the train. Unfortunately, it's not like my train from either Madrid to Valencia or Valencia to Barcelona where they were like empty and quiet. Actually, Madrid to Valencia was the best because I had like empty seats next to me. The leather seats were really nice. This one is jam packed and there's no exit to my coach. So there's only the one exit, which is what I'm in right now. And there's lots of kids around. So it's really hit or miss. I didn't think it would be this busy on a Sunday, but apparently everyone has the same idea as me to go south, so quarters and just had a croissant and a little protein bar for I guess my lunch. Ride has been smooth so far, which many of these high speed trains are really amazing and how fast they go and how smooth the actual ride is. The only thing is, there's no place to plug in your phone or computer, so it's definitely not as nice as my last train ride. <laughs> This is my seating scenario. I had a young gentleman next to me. There was another guy here who slept last of the time. I've got one bag of cookies. Another gentleman here. And then we had a family of three and a lady and a dog. There was a doggy here, which made me so happy. These are nice that they fold down, but it's been too far away for me. So I've actually been working on my laptop here. A little garbage bin. They do have like a fan no. and a light, I suppose. reading 
friends, friends, from Nice, France. Welcome. It is a beautiful day outside. It was supposed to rain the whole time that I was visiting, but it looks like it's supposed to be sunny outside. Today, the plan is there's a vegetarian restaurant I want to check out. And then the plan after that is to go explore Old Nice, which has been recommended to me by a few different people. So I'm looking forward to go explore down by the water, which has been so nice to see again. And honestly, here my plan was I'm staying here eight nights, which so far on this adventure in Europe has been the longest I've stayed anywhere. And the plan with that was to catch up on some work. So it's been really nice to have already some kind of routine this morning. Breakfast is included, so I had a coffee and just two pieces of toast, one with some Nutella and the other with some butter and jam. And it's just been nice to like have a coffee and be able to take it back right to my room instead of having to like get dressed, get my bag ready, go out, have coffee, come back. Oh my gosh, this sunshine feels so good on my face. But again, I can never see in the sun. So we're gonna have to get my sunglasses out. Didn't find the restaurant I was looking for, but apparently that's because there's four restaurants under the same address. And it kept sending me to the end. But anyway, I got a mozzarella and cheese, or tomato and mozzarella sandwich and a Fanta for six euros. So I'm happy with the price and I'm quite hungry. So maybe later this afternoon, we'll kind of have like a weird Lupper, or we'll go and treat myself to a vegan treat. And I got my favorite drink. I'm obsessed with Fanta. And I get to sit outside. This is called the Charlie Coffee Shop, which would be pretty easy to remember because it's a very English name. Charlie's Coffee Shop. the architecture start to changing it just a little bit more detail. Culturally, I'm really noticing here in Nice is there's definitely an influence of the Mediterranean and African continent being so much closer here. Um, people love to use their vapes too versus cigarettes, <laughs> which I'm actually okay with because it smells better, but they're still not good for you. Um, yeah, and just an abundance of languages. It's definitely French heavy, but there's obviously a, different, a few different dialects going on and you can definitely tell when you're in like a touristy location because it's just full and bustling and the prices are crazy increasing where I'm staying luckily is a bit more local so the prices go down but now that we're back towards the water it is busy busy main street again and it's also super cute The items we're seeing over and over again at this market are silver spoons, jewelry, but more like the costume type of jewelry, linens, and just old antique things. Some also clothes, but most of it is just it's like flea market style material. I am on the hunt for new rings. I'd like to expand my collection, but it doesn't seem to be a thing.
I've been reading up on this promenade that I'm currently walking along. It's seven kilometers long and in the 1800s it was built by English expats who enjoyed walking along the seafront and to this day it's still here. It is jam-packed. It is gorgeous just to see the palm trees and the beach and the beach. Our next goal is to hike up to the top of this, which is Parc de Colune de Chateau. Apparently at the top, King Louis built a waterfall. It looks busy, but I think it's worth it. Look at that view behind me. <laughs> which, it's an inside joke between Calgary and Edmonton that Edmonton doesn't have a lot. Just me and the bikes. Dude, just give me a freaking second to figure it out. It wasn't ready, and it still wasn't ready. Things culturally... Oh, wrong way. Hundreds of years later, it's still here. And 